Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your Windows 10 operating system and make it look even more cooler by installing some programs. And I'm going to also show you how you can install some custom third party themes and make it look even more cooler. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing is first, you need to go to the link in the description, open the very first link and you'll get this um, website. The first thing you want to do is you want to change your wallpaper. I like to download all my wallpapers from this website called wallhaven.cc. You will find amazing collection of wallpapers from this website. So download your favorite wallpaper from here and apply it onto your desktop. Next thing is download this program called Start is Back. It is an amazing program. So if I click on my start menu icon, you can see how neat it looks. So what it does is changes your uh, start menu and makes it look like a Windows 7 start menu and with a custom third-party theme you can change it to a very different look uh, which I will get to in a later point of this video. So download the free trial uh, you can use it for 30 days I, I believe once you enjoy it if you like it then you can just purchase this for four dollars and uh, it will be good to go. So download it and install it and uh, you're all set up. So the next one is the taskbar x. This allows you to align your icons in the center. So as you can see I have all my taskbar icons right in the center. You can do this with start is back as well. So if you go to the properties of this application go to appearance and you go to customize taskbar perks you can see that you have center task icon option over here you can enable that and click on ok if you don't want to use start is back if you want to just use your own windows um, 10 start menu then you can just use taskbar x and you can download it uh, from this website download the portable zip and launch the application it's right over here so you can just go to taskbar x configurator and here you can change some settings of this uh, application. You can change the look, uh, the style of it. If you want a transparent look, you want a blur or acrylic look, look, you can click on apply. You can change the color and um, all, sort of, all sorts of stuff. Very cool program in my opinion. So you can just use that and uh, it will be, it will look much more cleaner. And uh, try to also declutter your desktop by removing the icons uh, from, your, uh, from your desktop. So you can see I'm only using only one icon which is recycle bin. Maybe you can also use this PC icon to for faster access. Keep as less icons as possible and you'll be good to go. The next app on the list is UELI. It's a keystroke launcher for Windows and Mac OS. So basically if you hit uh, Alt spacebar on your keyboard you can get this really quick launcher. You can like do uh, like currency conversion so one USD in INR, oh sorry, it should be one space USD in INR and you can get the results instantly. You don't have to Google this stuff. Um, you can do searches pretty quickly. So if you want to Google search something like um, technology, you can just instantly, it will instantly open up your default web browser and search that term inside uh, the Google search engine, which is pretty quick and uh, these are some of the basic things you can do to customize your windows 10 operating system and now i'm going to show you how you can install third party themes uh, in windows 10 so by default you are not able to install any theme um, and in order to install the themes you have to patch your system files so you have to download this program called ultra ux theme patcher just uh, download it and open it up and give the permissions and click on next i accept the terms next next i agree and you can see i have already patched my theme ui and ux init file uh, so i don't have to patch it you can see the status uh, shows no need to patch. so i don't have to patch it i've already patched it so for you you have to patch it so just patch it and then you have to restart your system and you'll be able to install third party themes so way to get the third party theme so you can go to deviantart.com and you can search for windows 10 themes in here and you can get so so many themes uh, that you can choose from the one i'm currently using is called paranoid android windows 10 theme and uh, you download it and to, in order to download from this website you have to log into an account and then you'll be able to download it. I have already downloaded it. So you can see the folder over here. Uh, you can see they provide you with the doc 
icon the dog skins if you're using foobar it's also themed a pot player is also themed and then you have the main windows 10 theme so you can just select everything Control c to copy it or right click and click on copy and then you have to go to your uh, windows uh, folder where your os is installed so i'm going to go to c windows and then go to resources and in the themes folder you have to paste your themes over here then you can simply right click in the desktop go to personalize and then in the themes section you can just scroll down and choose the theme that you just installed to make uh, your explorer more cleaner there is one more program it is this program called old new explorer uh, so just open that up make sure your settings are set to like this so make sure you check the first four boxes and uh, that should be it then you can click on the install button and give the permissions and you might have to restart your explorer and then you'll see that your uh, your file explorer will be much more cleaner and will look start to look like this now you might have also noticed that i'm using uh, uh, some custom icons and it's uh, it's because i'm using an icon pack for this so you can again the link will be in the description i'm using um, uh, i'm using a different icon pack which is not available I guess it's not available on this website but you can search for any icon pack uh, inside deviantart using the search button over here so for example you can download this one called non icon theme again login download the icon and you need this program called 70 sp gui again i have downloaded it uh, so i'm going to go to the themes folder and uh, here we have the gui of it and you also need to download the the icon pack itself from this button over here so so once you download the icon pack extract it and you'll get the folder over here so double click on that and open that up so we have the all the different uh, folders here so you can use ipack or 70 sp we just downloaded 70 sp so we're going to use this folder and all you have to do is rename the file and remove the text over here and uh, just keep it up to 7 zip and uh, just change that and then you can open up 70 sp which we just downloaded earlier and you can just open that up and with this tool you can search for this file so let me just open that up and then you just have to click on add custom pack and just look for the same file that we just downloaded the icon file so it's in my theme folder and uh, nord icon and nord 70 sp and select this 7 zip archive and click on open and it will just install these icons as a system icon um, that's pretty much it um, then you can go a bit more advanced by changing the system fonts and uh, you can install rain meter to install widgets on your screen and that's also a cool option but i like to keep things uh, really simple you can uh, download nexus dock as well to get a cool mac os like dock at the bottom maybe i'll create a separate video for that but for now i guess um, that's pretty much it that's how you can customize your windows 10 os i hope this video is helpful if it was then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one